Greetings Capricorn, come on in here. Welcome, I'm Tiffany and we're going to explore the wisdom of the tarot with my intuitive readings. I offer general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and to leave the rest. But before I get into your reading Capricorn, I'm gonna go ahead and bless my decks of cards. Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light. May they be a vessel of truth, insight, and guidance. As I shuffle and draw, may your divine presence guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. All right, Capricorn, let's get into it. What is coming up for Capricorn for the week of February 25th through March 2nd? Divine Spirit, we need to know. Do tell. Capricorn, drop in the comments below. How was your week? What are you expecting this week, Capricorn? What are you expecting? And you should have expectations. You should desire and you should get what your heart desires. Right, Capricorn? All the good things. Attract them to you. Mm-hmm. Jumper. Is that kind of like, sound like I said thumper? Divine Spirit, what does Capricorn need to know, do tell? Oh, there's two. All right, here we go. And let's take a look at your shadow card. Shadow card ends up on the bottom of the, deck, of the deck and it normally points to either your hopes or your fears. We will get into this shortly. You have the death card on the bottom of the deck. Do not fear the death card. It's not as bad as we might think. Five of Cups, Six of Wands, and the Eight of Swords, Capricorn. What do we know? What do we know? Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you're missing out on something, Capricorn? Something might have passed you by? Like you missed the boat, maybe? That's what I'm getting. You feel conflicted about something. Let's go go further. We're going to get more. And this is interesting. Why would that? Oh, come on. Divine Spirit, guide me. Capricorn, Six of Wands. Feeling like you're missing out on something. And then you have the Six of Wands, which is just, it's a beautiful card. It means recognition. Um, praise, you've reached a claim status, if you will, with this Six of Wands. And then we have the Eight of Swords. Wow. This, this reading, this reading is, uh, hmm. <sighs> All right. With the Eight of Swords, this is a self-imposed restriction or limitation. So Capricorn, what have you limited yourself? What limiting beliefs are you doing? Are you holding that is possibly having you feeling like you're not good enough or you missed out on something? This is really conflicting because then, then you have the six of wands, which is a card of victory and recognition and acclaim. I need more divine spirit. This, this is conflicting me. I have to get an understanding here. Uh, um, let's see. Let's take a look at the shadow card. You have the death card in shadow position, which are either hopes or fears. And the death card symbolizes <laughs> Most people think someone's going to die. That's not how we read this in the tarot. The death card symbolizes um, endings or transformations or new beginnings. So, okay, I feel it. Okay, you're hoping something, these limiting beliefs, you want it to end. You hope this ends. You hope it's not true because you want to get here. You want to get the acclaim and the recognition for hard work. You feel like you're being passed over because you're not good enough. That's your limiting belief. And if you believe that you're not good enough, no one else will believe that you are good enough. Okay, Capricorn, let's go. 
we're going to fix this. We're going to get you some insight and some resolution. Let's clarify a little further for Capricorn Divine Spirit. Give us more information. What does Capricorn need to know for this week of February 25th through March 2nd? This, this is very conflicting for me. Capricorn, Divine Spirit, what does Capricorn need to know? Do tell. That is a limiting belief. You feel like you're missing out because you're not good enough. That's a limiting belief that you've created about yourself, Capricorn. It's not true. Only you can obliterate that to get to the space of recognition, award, acclaim, uh, praise, right? It's going to end and it's going to take you shifting your mindset. What else does Capricorn need to know, Divine Spirit? Do tell. Mm, 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 mm. Let it go. Eight of Swords again. Let it go, Capricorn. It's not true. You are shutting yourself out of opportunities for recognition, for acclaim, for award, for praise, because this limiting belief. I don't know who told you these things before. It's not true, Capricorn. None of this is true. These limiting beliefs are not true. You are able to break these chains of limiting belief to let yourself free. Only you can do that. Only you can do that. I believe you. I believe in you. I need you to believe in you. Get rid of this. We need this to end. Death to limiting beliefs. What else, Divine Spirit? Someone from your past told you you weren't good enough. They lied. That's because they were insecure and small minded and they saw the greatness in you, but their ego wouldn't allow you to be greater than them. So they had to stomp you down and belittle you. It's a person from your past. I don't know if it's a parent or an older sibling, possibly even a teacher. They lied. They lied. They were afraid of your greatness. They were intimidated by your greatness, Capricorn. But you will have healing and harmony. You will bring your emotions, your uh, mental and your spiritual and your physical. They will come into harmony to get to get you to a place of self-love, uh, true belief and in the next level, because this is not true. It's someone from your past and they lied to you. They simply lied. They were intimidated by you. One more card moving fast. This is happening now. This week, this week, Capricorn, shatter those limiting beliefs, shatter them. That person from your past, they lied. It's never been true. And you've been walking with this shadow of doubt over yourself for so long. Shatter it, shatter it, shatter it. It's over. It's done. You're coming into your place of validation, recognition, award and acclaim and praise. Only you can shatter it. Move swiftly. Let's pull a single card from the Shaman's Dream Oracle to get the overall theme for Capricorn. The week of February 25th through March 2nd. Divine Sphere do tell a single Oracle card, please. That single? That was single. Deep Diver Diving Into a Task. Here's your assignment. Here's your assignment. Dive into the task of obliterating those limiting beliefs that have been untrue for the majority of your adult life. Obliterate it. Dive into that task. Write down all the things that you love about yourself. Write down all the things you are capable of doing. Write down the things that you want to learn how to do. Dive deep into self-love. That's the task for you. That's the task for you, Capricorn. Dive deep into that. You are going to find a renewed strength, a renewed sense of self-love. We are ending the cycle of uh, misinformation from somebody in your past who was completely intim intimidated by you. Mm, no more. One more card from, <coughs> excuse me, from the Spirit Animal Oracle for Capricorn. One more card, Divine Spirit. One more card for Capricorn. 
porcupine spirit time for beginner mind yep reset it's a reset reset for you Capricorn beginners mind obliterate that foolishness those lies you were told that you weren't good enough you'll never amount to anything this person from your past was completely intimidated by the greatness that they saw in you so they needed to keep it hidden from you so they had to lie to you beginner's mind obliterate that foolishness it was all lies begin again Capricorn there's nothing you can't do and only you alone can shift your mindset and understand your own capabilities and abilities and how great you truly are. I believe that for you. All right, Capricorn, I hope this has resonated with you. You found it useful for your week ahead. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos I have for you. I will see you soon, but until then, bye-bye.